So today we're actually gonna do a My Little Pony speed model. Okay, so here we go. Here is uh, some My Little Pony image I found off the internet. I will share a link with the original creator of this. But what I wanted to find was a nice front view, side view, and uh, really the front and side view are the most important ones. Really the three quarter view we can put into our scene to just kind of give us an idea of what this pony looks like in three dimensions. But full disclosure, I've never modeled a My Little Pony before. Okay, so this is pretty good. We're gonna add some rulers. Uh, there's a number of ways we could do this. I'm just gonna show you one way. My rulers here. Uh, this isn't necessary, but what we'll do is we'll just create a guiding line right here. Now, if I make any kind of cubes and copy and paste it, I know it's going to have the same height on every single image. And that's all I really care about. So if I grab the uh, rectangle tool now, I can get my, my front view of my pony. So here's my front view. So if I control C, I'm going to copy that, hit control N. That gives me a clipboard of that exact same size. Hit control V, control E, flattens the image. Now we're going to save this out as my front view. We're going to save this as, we'll just do it as a JPEG. We'll call this Applejack front. So there's the front view image. We've got that all done. Let's go back to this main one. We're going to hit uh, control D to remove that. We're going to grab this one too, which is the uh, three quarter view. Control C, control N. Enter, control V, easy peasy, control E, flattens it out. Hotkeys are your friends when it comes to Photoshop. And we'll do a save as here as well. Uh, for those of you wanting to set up your own reference images in Maya, it's uh, Maya or Blender, whatever you want to use. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Honestly, this is all we need. Anything more might get us into trouble. All right, so now what we should be able to do now, we're gonna bring import our uh, reference images. So I'm gonna hit the space bar. Uh, so my front side view pop up and before I touch anything, I'm, I'm gonna leave it as is. So my front is right here. So I'm gonna go to view, image plane, import image. I'm gonna take that side view uh, that we created before. And that was the front, right? A front and side, okay. All right, here's Applejack front right here. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna pop that in there. See how tiny it is? We're gonna have to scale that up. It's too small. I have this set up uh, on an Unreal Engine grid. So I'm gonna scale this up uniformly, maybe my, like by 100, I think. Yeah, we'll just do 100. Uh, that way we know how to scale up the, the other ones too. Oops. So uniformly scale them up and put uh, put our little pony up here. So now here's our front view. And I'm gonna import another one. Okay, we're gonna grab our Applejack three quarter. And that one as well, we're gonna scale up to 100. Cause it's tiny. Set it over here to the side. Hit control A. and scale that to 100 as well, so we can see it. And we can just move that up into position. Okay, and let's see how well our side view lines up here. Okay. So now from our side view, we'll do the same thing. Now we can scale that up. We'd actually do it on the same translate as this one. So this one is at, uh, let's just make it, we'll make it an even number. We can just make it 167, just eyeball at the same position. And then this image plane, we can just set it 167 as well. And then we know they'll be at the exact same height, right? Right. Okay, the front view, and we're gonna do a, a couple little things here. One thing we can do is make sure that these are kind of centered on themselves and they kind of are. I'm just gonna move these ones back on Z or is that X? We're gonna move them back on Z. We're gonna move this guy over on X. Traditionally, when I first started 3D modeling, we'd keep them right centered on the uh, grid, which over time I realized just gets in the way of the model because you're modeling through image planes. If you scooch it back on X and Z, it works much better because then when you just go in the front planes to adjust the model, you don't have, uh, yeah, because you can imagine right here, let's, let's do an example here, is you're trying to, say we we're trying to box model this. And uh, so here's my cube here, I'm trying to box model this. I can only see three quarters of my, a quarter of my model whenever I move around it. And so it really doesn't make any difference. We can just slide these off out of the way 
and it just makes life easier for us. Now I can see my entire model, my entire cube as it will. We're gonna start with this cube regardless. And just to make my life easier, one thing I do wanna do is I wanna try and center this uh, horse as much as I can. And what I could actually do is, uh, you can see right here, the head isn't centered now. So it may be a pain in the butt. Uh, so in Photoshop, really, if I really wanted to get perfect images in here, I probably would have just cropped out the head and moved it so it was centered on this line right here with the body. Uh, but we can just eyeball that in Maya or when I'm working on the head, um, I can center it. I can just tweak this a little bit for when I'm working on each one. That's gonna be a little bit more work, but let's start our model, shall we? So like I said, we're gonna start with this uh, cube here. I like starting with boxes, and let me tell you why. We're not gonna exactly box model this. But this is the way I start out with a lot of models. Uh, I'm gonna turn this into X-ray mode so I can see through the object and see the horse as well. I know it's a pony, it's not a horse. Don't get mad at me, uh, all you uh, aficionados. But okay, so here we go. So let's center my cube. And we're just gonna block out the body shape first. So we're just gonna take the box and match that up as closely as possible to get started on this. And that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna save my file out just so I don't lose it. Maya has a tendency to crash. And so it's always a good idea to save often, save all the time, my friend. We're gonna start by adding an edge loop right here down the middle. Uh, this is where the tummy is. And we can kind of, now we can start to uh, get this shape. It's kind of like a bean. Really, if you look at the shape of the, the horse's body here, it really is a bean. A bean shape. Look at it from the front. It's about right. We'll, we'll adjust it in just a moment. Uh, but now we've kind of blocked this out as far as we can go with just this cube with one line through it. Uh, we're gonna smooth this out, which means it's gonna add extra lines and kind of round out the whole shape. So we're gonna go to mesh smooth this is a technique I use almost all the time when I'm uh, modeling uh, so let's smooth this out okay so now you can see this is getting me closer to the shape this is actually pretty darn close on the front view let's and big in that a little bit and on the side view it's really close uh, we're gonna tweak some of these uh, vertices here and get these rounded shapes out a little bit nicer So here we have the, the general body shape of our little pony. And you see if I hit the number three tab, it smooths it out much more cleanly. So it'd be closer to like finish model smoothness. Okay, so now let's work on the front leg is essentially just a, a cylinder. So we could start working on that. What's fascinating uh, from this front view, you can see this is where the uh, 2D drawings don't always match up with the uh, the front view. Uh, here in the front view, you can see the leg kind of goes up into the body. And on the outside view, it goes on the outside of it. So we're going to have to figure out how that actually works. This has all been figured out in 3D before. We are we're essentially, we're trying to rebuild this from scratch. All right, so let's, uh, let's start the uh, leg here. We're just going to use a cylinder here. I like using either six or eight-sided uh, cylinders when I'm uh, modeling characters, only because eight gives you a little bit more symmetry, but six is good. You've got, typically, you've got the, the axis going down the middle. It's less to deal with. Maybe eight would be better. Let's, what the heck, let's switch it to eight. We'll do a little bit higher poly than maybe I originally intended. So we're going to take this first leg, and by the way, we only have to model one leg at a time here. And we'll just make it up to the right size here. The Hooven size. And here we go. Shrink this one down. And we're gonna match it into the right position here. Uh, what, we, what we think is the right position. Let's grab the bottom of the feet. And we'll scale those out as well. And 
make sure that the center line is straight. So it has like a, a 90 degree angle down the center and then it slopes at, I'm not sure what angle that is, maybe 12. And we'll guess where these feet should touch the ground here. So that is pretty accurate to the drawing. Let's look on the side view. Not accurate at all. Let's move this over here. We'll line up the top, which every time I adjust this, I'm gonna to have to go back into the front view and tweak it again, just ever so slightly, not very much. And look at the side view, once again, this is fine. So the hooves are uh, longer, they're more of an oblong shape, not a perfect sphere, if we're looking at this. So we will stretch this out just a little bit. pretty good that looks pretty good from that side let's see it from the front that's looking pretty good okay we're starting on this uh this leg this is a it looks kind of weird but that is what the geometry is telling us is a my little pony leg i'm gonna get rid of the caps on this select the faces select the caps delete those Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start uh, from the middle. This line is pretty straight from the front view. The only side that really needs some love is from the side view. So let's start at the middle. We're gonna insert one edge loop here in the middle and we're just gonna move this back because you notice that kind of lines it up exactly where it's supposed to be. Just with that. This is interesting. And then we're gonna add another edge loop. Uh, if you hit Y, it resets your tool. And we're gonna add one here and one up here. Our block out section here. And we're gonna slide this back. Uh, Ludwig Didi, darn it, where is my, where is my Nightbot when I need him to kinda get rid of the riffraff? Okay, how does this look? That is, that's a pony leg, my friends. Looks a little polygonal, so we will, uh, we're gonna go mesh smooth, or sorry, uh, not smooth. We're gonna go to display and soften the edges. That makes it look not so boxy. But that's the start of our pony here. Either we just block out the body today, and then the next version two, we would maybe block out the hair and the hat. This would be a multi-step process. Uh, but I wanna show you what I just did here for the sake of, uh, being consistent in this kind of tutorial type aspect is this leg is very similar to the back leg. Uh, it just has less detail on it. There's less, more curves on this back leg. So we're just gonna hit Control uh, D to duplicate that and we'll just slide it back. And you notice um, they're very similar in size. This little bottom section here matches up almost perfectly. So I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna see how much I can uh, just move this into the correct position now to match this uh, front spot. So a couple things we can do here. I'm not sure what approach I wanna take. This back leg, this shape is interesting. How does this blend back up into the, uh, the top area? I don't know that yet. Um, we could look at 3D model reference images, but we're not going to. We're gonna, we're gonna create this thing from scratch here. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, we need to start a little bit anew here. I do love how this stays exactly as it should. I imagine this is nice, this back leg is kind of pulled out a little bit to show that it kind of goes in after that first section. So what that tells me is what I should worry about first is just this main chunk right here and keep the, keep the center line straight and, and fold it out outwards. So I'm actually gonna delete the top portion of this and we're going to make this piece work should just like with the the front leg this one up a little bit so what we can do is scale this push it out scale this section too big there now that all matches up pretty well Pretty good, pretty good. See how that works. And I am going to isolate. 
this. So now you can see it's not matching that curve that it's supposed to, which we know from working on the front one, essentially we just want the straight line here to match up. So we'll do that. Interesting, but we want this whole thing to curve though. So this is fascinating. So I don't, so the back leg is tricky. The back leg is tricky. So, I mean, what it could do, it could bend out a little bit like this. We want that kind of a shape to it. Don't know what that's gonna do though. That might be weird. Who knew my little ponies were so tricky? Ugh, I hate this actually. This is not, oh, well, maybe that's okay. Maybe that is how it looks. So I think I've messed this up, so I'm gonna re redo it. And that's okay, once you've messed something up, just start over again. So let's match this up to the side again. And then we're actually just gonna move it out and keep that line parallel. Okay, so we're back to where we were. Okay, and now I actually want to uh, make this not be a cylindrical anymore. So this is gonna have a little bit different shape to it. So let's, let's make this stick out again. Let's make this straight. And now, what I kind of want to do is something like this. Because I'm crazy. Let's see how this works. Match that up. I'm gonna move my pivot point over to the end so I can keep this straight. All right, let's see how that looks. Yeah, yeah, I actually think that looks pretty awesome. There we go, so there is the back leg. Much more accurate to the drawing. And then this uh, this section uh, from the back is gonna merge into this. So that feels pretty darn good. So we've we've matched up with our, our drawing pretty well. We've got the front and back leg uh, kicking it. Okay, so let's uh, let's continue blocking this out. We don't want any of that to change. We're gonna extrude this uh, piece up. This is what we're gonna work with here. Front view doesn't really give us any more information on this, sadly enough. Maybe the maybe having some, some detail from the other side would help. Uh, but we're gonna move this into the back of the leg where that leg continues on. Put this where we think it needs to be, which is right there. And oh boy, how are we gonna do this? My guess is this one should continue to go straight, but this is going to either flatten out or just move in a little bit. Probably something like that. Let's look at this. This is gonna be this is gonna be a little bit of a hot mess for a minute. I'm just gonna go one loop at a time. Add an edge loop here. This line stays as it is. Then this one, I swear it's gotta curve a little bit. It's gotta curve in. Let's just, let's just go ham on this. Let's just go ham and see what happens. Let's scoot this down. And then we'll try and pick up the pieces. We'll try and pick up the pieces after the fact. So I'm gonna do this one. This is where that nub comes in and I'm gonna delete this previous one I made. I'm gonna double click that, delete edge. Okay, so that's gonna get us started here. I still feel like this piece is meant to keep straight uh, along that back edge, that horse piece. That's a start. 
which means I actually think, oops, let's go to the side view, that this piece should actually twist a little bit more like that. So just to like uh, explain what's going on here, <laughs> I just thought it would be fun to do some traditional uh, modeling with this uh, character. And you can see right now, that's actually starting to look pretty good. If I go back into uh, mesh display and soften the edge, you can see it's starting to look probably how it actually should as we move this piece up into the top. Uh, but yeah, so, so that's actually probably on the schedule for next week. Okay, so we'll smooth that out. Okay, here's our head that we're gonna start with. It's matching up pretty close. See how it looks from the side. I'm assuming it matches up pretty close. Ideally